Hi, I'm Vinny Bumatai, and I am an artist. I'm the gallery manager here at the Artist Gallery, um, which is in the Virginia Beach Art Center. Mm -hmm. Vinny, tell me how the Artist Gallery here has sort of shifted gears to um, to operate in the in the new virtual reality world. So what we're doing now is uh, we're having the work being viewed online and we have a page we're calling the virtual gallery instead of having it here in the front gallery and um, we're doing well it's a learning there's a learning curve but uh, I think uh, it's something that we have to do at this at this moment mm -hmm. and you have a new exhibit the the artist gallery has sort of in-house um, exhibits uh, each month and you have one coming up beginning May the 1st correct yes the one coming up is called garden of life and Garden of Life, uh, in particular, you have the work that is to your left. Um, tell me about this work and then the inspiration uh, right next to it. Yeah, so what we do is uh, knowing what show comes up, uh, the artists prepare for it, they find inspiration and they paint uh, for it. Mm -hmm. And because I uh, could not go outdoors at the moment, I picked something that was in within the gallery near my studio, mm -hmm. uh, this orchid. Uh, and um, you can submit up to three pieces. This is one of three. Mm -hmm. And what is the challenge um, for you in, in sort of painting a still life? Is this an oil or acrylic that you use? This is acrylic, and for this particular piece, I wanted to cut, capture the actually the subtlety of light mm -hmm. in the room, uh, and it wasn't really easy, so I, I had a lot of time mm -hmm. on my hands, so I took uh, took my time and uh, painted this piece. Mm -hmm. Now, when you all do virtual um, shows here, people can go on the website and they can view each piece of work. And what makes this gallery sort of unique compared to a museum is that you can actually purchase the work. Can you share with us how that all works? Yeah, so uh, our virtual gallery online, uh, all the artwork is, they are for sale. And what we're going to do as well is some of the work will be available here on view by appointment uh, and uh, they're also for sale here. Uh, so we're trying to make artwork accessible mm -hmm. um, online uh, for everyone. Yes, and you do some sort of fun theme. All of these have themes and one of my favorite ones is fabulous forgeries each year uh, yes. to see artists sort of uh, yeah. sort of reproduce famous works. Can you talk about, you know, the aspect of keeping it fun and having those themes? Well, what we're trying to do is inspire artists and to uh, keep the uh, momentum going on a monthly basis. So mm -hmm. uh, a, a year ahead, we would uh, come up with these ideas for the monthly shows and try to make them more relevant to the community mm -hmm. and um, that would engage them. Mm -hmm. and be more purposeful. Very good. Well, there's some big news here at the Artist Gallery in Virginia Beach, and you have a new executive director. So, Vinny, please introduce her. Yes, I want, I want you uh, to meet uh, Margaret Foltz. Okay, Margaret, welcome Hi. to the Virginia Beach Artist Gallery. Tell Thank us about you. a little bit about you. Where, are you a Virginia Beach native? If not, where did you come from? <laughs> well, actually, I'm a military brat, um, okay. born and raised in the Marine Corps, and we landed here last. Um, so I actually just really love Virginia Beach, um, the various communities within communities and neighborhoods within Virginia Beach. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, after graduating from college, went to work for the United Way of Southampton Roads continued my nonprofit career with Eggleston Services and then moved on to the Planning Council. Very good. Um, have two young children and just enjoying life and I'm thrilled to be working with the Virginia Beach Art Center. Yeah, so tell me what were your impressions the first time you came to the, the Art Center here in Virginia Beach which houses the Artist Gallery? Yes, so walking in the front door you're immediately met with the gallery and it's just phenomenal pieces and what warms my heart is you know that it's from local artists mm -hmm. um, so you walk in and it's just it's welcoming it's not your typical cold museum type of look it's uh, the lighting the pieces just the aesthetics overall are just gorgeous I was very impressed with it 
and then meeting the individuals um, who are working with both the Virginia Beach Art Center and the Artist Gallery. It's such a great group of people. I came in two days before this pandemic hit, mm -hmm. so it has been a very interesting um, online onboarding <laughs> that I've never done before. Sure. <laughs> so, but it's been really exciting, and I would like mm -hmm. to just note too at the leader um, under the leadership of our board president Maggie Carrigan, we've done amazing things to be able to shift our business online. Mm -hmm. um, so, as it relates to the Virginia Beach Arts Center. I would just like to mention where people have typically come in to do classes, we're offering online classes. If you mm -hmm. visit our website, which is artcentervb.org, you can click right on the front page to a purple button that says, I think, fun online demonstrations. You can go there to view demonstrations, to do um, look at drawing prompts, read about our resident artists. Um, we'll be posting things daily. Um, we're also offering online virtual classes. If you go mm -hmm. to uh, another button there, it's like, I think it's a take an art class, something along those lines. You would just click into that and click into our, um, I believe it says COVID, I can't remember. It's, it, it's intuitive, you'll, rem you'll see it. It's the second one down. Click into that and it'll show you all of our online offerings for art classes. So mm -hmm. keeping the arts moving during this strange time has been, it's therapeutic, it's amazing, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Margaret, you know, a lot of the focus now is how are we all gonna get back to as normal life as we can. And while performing arts venues may not spring back to full speed right away, it seems to me art galleries and art museums are the arts that will lead the, the way back to a new normal. So what are the plans for the artist gallery when it comes to opening the doors maintaining the six feet rule yeah. um, and, and all of those sort of things. What, what are the plans and do you have a timeline? So we have had those initial discussions and um, the artist gallery as well as the Virginia Beach um, Art Center boards all agree we will be falling in line with the mandate put forward by our government, our governor, our mm -hmm. state governor. Um, we will be keeping to the six feet um, distance just as we're doing now. We're kind of all separated. It's a little weird, but mm -hmm. you know, we're going to get used to the new norm. Sure. Um, we'll, we'll adhere to the phase in plans if that includes um, wearing face masks while we're all here. Mm -hmm. If that were to include still limiting the number of people to 10, we'll take count. We're going to take every precaution. Um, not only for our visitors, but for our resident artists, for our staff. We wanna make sure that this is a place to come to enjoy the visual arts and feel safe doing so. Um, we don't know the timeline as of yet. We can't wait to find out that timeline. We're very excited to get back <laughs> in and have people come in. We miss you. Um, so uh, sooner the better, I hope. Um, and we hope everyone's doing well. I don't mean to, um, you know, snuff at any kind of closures or whatnot. I just want to make sure that we're going to be very safe about it and we're just very excited about it, seeing everyone back in. Very good. Okay, Benny, we started with you and we're going to end with you. Give us that website so people can go and find out more. The Virginia Beach Art Center website is uh, www.artcentervb.org. Very good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.